What's up? This is your boy Super, and I'm playing some Nautica. Getting tired of all this trekking back and forth. We're over, like, as, as wide as the map is, that's how far down we are. So we're, like, 2,000 meters away, and we're 2,000 meters deep. So that's, like, 4,000 meters we're traveling back and forth each time for one little small thing, and it's getting annoying. I think we don't have to come back anymore though. Let me make sure we got all the ingredients for the prawn suit depth upgrade. And then we'll head back down there. This, this great game is amazing the first time you play it. It's not so good with each subsequent playthrough. Because I played it like one time, or two times or one and a half times the first time. And I'll, I'm really tired of it this time. First two times I didn't com wasn't com didn't complain at all. Thought it was great. It's not impressed anymore. Which is normal. It happens. Would probably happen with every game. Especially if it's an exploration game. Magma ray. I think I they need to fill out, fill in the rest of the the br rest of the breeding, the rest of the research, the rest of the base building. Well, the base building is pretty full. There's just no ex no reason to do it really. What else? The, the specimens where you grab stuff and you grow the farming, farming. Uh, fill out the farming. Fill out the breeding. Give you an excuse to build bases. Be fun times, fun times. I think we should get some salt and some tube corals. Just to be make sure we don't have to come back for water. Like if you if you if you, if you set up multiple places and each place had a water purifier, you could just do a what do they call that a route and grab the water grab the water from every water filter and by the time you finish the route the first one would have more water filter water back so you could do it never ending and fill up your supply of water all the fishes are disappearing there's a couple fish to eat but I mean the stalkers are gone those poisonous butt 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 bulb ones are gone the, most of the bone sharks are gone, most of the sand sharks are gone. They're all dying off to the poison or the virus. I didn't see any salt, of course I was busy talking. Where is the salt? We should have used the scanning room. Where's my freaking Sima? Did we freaking destroy it with our body or something? There it is. It's camouflaged. The only thing bad about my favorite colors, they're camouflaged. So you lose things. Tired to scan the ground. I'm so used to in the Cyclops, you can look directly below you at the ground. With this, you got to look ahead of you at the ground. It's a bit different, different, bit more difficult in this. See, quartz don't want quartz. It's a probably a sand shark. Don't see any salt. There's a sand shark. I guess there is some left. Here's some salt. Don't really want the cores. When I was uh, getting stuck and in a hurry to complete the game, I, when I was looking up guides, I saw this kid. He wrote a guide. 
he would just fly through the darkest, deeper caves without being scared. It's interesting. Makes me want to research. Like children, and if that applies to more more children and more adults, would adults be scared of? Are adults more scared of silly things like movies, video games, and, and kids aren't scared of it? It's worth a study. Because I know I'm terrified of this game. Even the second, third time I played, I'm still terrified. But I had no concern. I was even terrified of Mario 64. That fish is swimming fast. What is that? It must be like a glitch or something. So we got a plenty of extra water. Slow ass sea moth. There's a speed module you can get for it. But we're about done with it now. And it only goes 900 meters, and the rest of our stuff's deeper than 900 meters. The rest of the places we gotta go. I think we gotta go to like two more alien buildings that have a name for them. I don't remember. How did we get this far away on the other side of the world here? Two more, two more buildings with a name for them, and one more maybe without a name. I don't know. Uh, they don't you put it in the, the list there. Let me check. Data downloads, alien. Yeah, we've been to the research facility. The thermal power facility is at 1,200 meters in the lava lakes. Sanctuary A and Sanctuary B We've been to one of those, I think, before at 600 meters. And then we went to the build a research facility at 800 meters. So there's four build three more buildings that aren't. Well, they got the primary containment facility and off-site laboratory. I don't know where those are at. And the thermal power facility. So that's one, two, three, four. We're gonna skip the sanctuary though, so that's three. We don't need sanctuary. We're too tough. Goodbye, farewell, Seamoth. You were a great, valuable tool. I liked you a lot. Salt takes forever to make some damn water. 75% geez. I think we could we could possibly make it. Welcome aboard, Captain. As long as we got no holes in the sub, because they left the bulkheads open. Let's put all this water back. Tons of health kits. We can use some nutrient bricks if we want. Or save them for an emergency. It doesn't really matter. Either way, you're going to have extra. Got extra power cells. Got two extra fish for some reason. We can put the water in there. One of the health kits in there. We only need four of these. And we can make it some some cheap water. Gotta love the water. Two for one Tuesday. Okay. 
Okay, all the salt and all the mushrooms are gone. Perfect. Drink one of these now. Save the game. Eat one of these. And head on out. And I never coming back. She was something I'll never forget. I think we missed the old beacon there at Bulby's. There we go. Gotta go up to go down, you know how it is. Should be easy now. Three hundred meters and closing. Cool, you don't have to use the lights and you can still see enough to maneuver. It's a, a lovely experience. The lights ruin it because the beautiful colors are polluted. A lot of hard work went into just the maps of this area, this game. It's probably like probably scales really good that's why they mentioned the map size that it's 200 by 2 2000 kilometers by 2000 kilometers not not 2 kilometers 2000 kilometers like and there's such detail everything nothing is copy and pasted it looks like it was, maybe a whole sections of the cave might have been but not not like the textures and they're detailed textures too it's not just like some solid color you can't fill it with a paint bucket well maybe you could if you if you could fill a use a pattern in a paint bucket and paint the pattern in the all the rocks the same pattern maybe I probably have something like that People think it was a modern marvel to be made by an indie developer. But, well, they don't, they don't I guess people really didn't think that because it was so buggy. So, they fixed it and got it released on the PS5 somehow. I think it was only intended to be a computer game. We are lost. But even if they used a pattern and a paint bucket to get all that freaking detail, they still went over it twice and added like those little blue things. Well, they could have used a random number, that random generation, maybe. But I don't, it's too, it's too natural and organic looking to have been something like maybe random numbers. Yeah, random. Okay, I forgot. Maybe random. 
Nothing, nothing looks like it's copy and pasted though. If you try looking at free games on Steam, you'll, you'll learn everything about bad video games. Well, Bo, what can you expect for free? I don't know. Damn, I wonder why we're going so slow. a big fella too. <clears throat> but I was I was so terrified, I was still terrified of everything in the first time I played it. And I, th I thought I had to face my fears, so I ran headed first into a fa the face of one of those. I got out and tried to fight one with a knife. I used to swim around him in my sea moth, which was freaking crazy. You know, people try to test the limits of the game and don't take the, the game story or anything seriously. I did all types of that stuff. I explored the dead zone. I think I found the mountains too, I don't know. I got a bad memory. I think we're gonna run right into this guy here. He won't be distracted by it for long, so let's get that move on. He didn't even hit us that time. We ran into us. You can put it on slow, I guess. Down to 81 power, that was quick. Come on, oh he's gone now. We really for go freaking up this thing. I think that's the exit, we do not go up that. There's no way. We should have went right in the big room with him in it. I could have swore I'm, my memory, I remember it is going left. Oh, he did hit us. Oh, that was the first time. Yeah, we went by him twice and the second time. Oh, the second time he got us, the first time he, we zoomed by him, he was a creature decoy. It's a good sign we're going down. Going down and never coming back. Guess we go straight. I don't know. Or left. Left looks like down. Oh crap. There is a way forward there. 
and there's the tree of life, and this is the right way. And then in the room after the tree of life, we got a spiral staircase going down, spiral tunnel. And then we got to squeeze through the crack at the end of the tunnel to get to light and active lava zones. It's all coming back, it's coming back to me now. Get out and repair here. In the beautiful scenery. And where is the damage? In the front, at the top, on the left side. Only one, I think. Come on. I'm going to get attacked by a jelly sting. This is the freaking repair tool, isn't it? Welcome up Captain. All systems online. And full integrity. We're gonna speed up while we're in here. We need to get down to the thermal zone. Charge up our base. Here's our lava zone. Like a glove. The white river, the white waterfall is the exit. The one time I remember it is the time we're never coming back. Oh, we have to come back to build the rocket, that's right and fly away. Gotta head down, down, down. Right on top of the warpers. Is that a dead end? I think it is a dead end. Head to the right. Both of those look like dead ends now. Gotta go down. Here it is. After we drop down, we must turn, gotta turn, must have to turn right. Then you go into the void, not into the fire. This is dark and large, a lot larger than I thought it was. There's the right way. Perfect. And we're into the thermal vents thermal fields, water lava, la lava falls, that's it, we're here, 
87% battery. It already charged 6%. That's awesome. We could definitely to recharge power cells in here. Recharge batteries at the same time, maybe. Because it recharges quickly. So we should be coming up to the thermal alien building anytime. As soon as we see some landmarks, we got to follow them. Uh, this is a nice change from anything else in the game. The biomes are very different. Kyanite everywhere. Should be light with all this fire. This is probably the cavern that contains the room we're looking for, or the building. It's pretty large. Should have went straight, but now I don't know where straight is. Luckily, the alien building should be glowing green. And the guides guiding us there should also be. I don't, I don't want to go deeper. Because this is the deepness that our building is at, 1200. And this is 1205. I don't want to go past it. I know straight somewhere over this direction. We could scan these jelly stings or probably lava stings or something called their name now different species or a different variation of a species so we could just we'll explore around the underground for hours Definitely like one of the best exploration games you could play. Other than things like No Man's Sky. That's but what a game that is too. That's coming out with the update pretty soon, the front Frontiers update, so I figured that'd be a good time to start a series of it, because I've had that game for a long time. And I see just we're just going down again for some reason. I don't want to go down. I, I don't know if there's a wall in front of us or not, but there's a lot of lava on the ground. Ah, damn. It's got to be in this room. We're on a pathway off of this room. Maybe we should be using the other camera. <laughs> oh crap! Ah, a piece of paper blew off a shelf. Oh crap! Damn! Damn! One. One was fine, it didn't, there was no reason for me to be scared. But then the other one blew right in my face. It looked like it didn't, it looked like somebody threw it. What in God's name is that? How in the hell did not, that, that not see us and attack us? This looks like it might be the little passageway. Oh, and it's attacking us good too, boy. Oh, we gotta get up. It's pulling us down. I do not remember this creature, I'll tell you that. Do not remember that creature. It 
There's no way it followed us up here this far. Oh, we're going right back into it, it looks like. Damn it. I think we can repair over here. It's a bit warm though. At least load up a creature decoy. Since we got the battery charger, maybe we could take out one of these energy efficiency modules and put the torpedo thing in there because the battery charges that well enough for us not to notice I keep saying we're never coming back when we always got to go back for something stupid cells that need to be charged. I don't think we do. There's our creature decoys. We can also grab a cup of silver and make some more. Well, this thing will not leave us alone. This one at a hundred. And what else do we need to make creature decoys? Man, that thing needs to go somewhere. A wiring kit and three titanium, okay. It's a wiring kit, it's an advanced wiring kit. We need a regular wiring kit. There's two titanium. I'm glad they put everything you need down here. Like you can still get titanium, even though you're not no, no, anywhere near the surface. You would think it would be all the new materials. And we can fully load this puppy, this girl. Check the sonar and everything, make sure I can get out and repair it. Looks all right. Should have looked and saw where the damage was. I still act like I'm in the sea moth sometimes. What the hell is that green thing on our ship? Is that like a leech or something? Like when I first played, I had to fly, get out of the ship and knock these off every so often. It looks like we can't knock them off. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Oh, we got a freaking lot of them, but our hull's good. We can do a shot of energy here. Only took 4% and we'll be charged right back up. Perfect. Already at 97. We 
Maybe we can smash into that guy. We missed him. That was like a Kraken type guy. He's huge, eight tentacles. Followed us a great distance too. Court's in a dangerous place. Noisy mother effer. Glad we only bump into him on rare occasions. Gotta find that damn building. We should be on a head slow. A head slow. There's some silver. That's why we keep getting lost, because I don't travel on the bottom. I keep flying around. Well, we're about 40 meters below where we need to be as soon as we get out of this valley. I'm guessing that's where we need to be. This height. And we gotta find, there's no path that way. I don't think we go down, then up, then enter the alien building. I don't think it would work like that. So I'm trying to stay around the, the, dis the height for the building. Up there in the center, maybe? That would make sense. I don't know, those, there's no buildings on those. I remember there was a tunnel on it, on the building that went down to a, a pool of lava and you ran across it with the prong suit. And I seem to remember it being on an island in the middle. That's obviously not it though. Dead magma ray. I seem to rem remember it being in a big open room like that on top of an island in the middle. to freaking look it up.
should go up and just to take a look around. I don't think we'll see anything though. I don't know, I don't like this. Another entrance going down. It's right above us. Like to scan that thing and see what it is. So we're going to have to either check out what's in the middle or find one of these entrances and go de deeper. Now that thing in the middle is looking pretty big, big enough to house the building. It's got to be it. They would have gave us a sign or something, or some of those green poles or wires. There's something green down there. It's like a fish or something. There's the thermal vents on top of it. I think I remember being fallen, collapsed in between the thermal vents or something up here. And it's amazing how the, the fire is just constantly burning even though it's just surrounded by water. There it is, see it? And a green pole right there. Oh crap, now I can't tell if that's the entrance or not. That's the entrance. I don't know if we're gonna burn to death or not. Better bring a couple health kits. Kill the old engine there. Engine powering down. There's the, the squid, see it swimming around? Okay, let's eat some food, drink some water, and get something to take with us. So we got materials and a massive energy signature. Reading originates within the natural structure at the center of this chamber. Two salt, an extra health kit. Two salts to cook those two fish. And we'll take some of the crappy water. Now, instead of music, we got that damn monster making noise all the time. M moaning and grunting. Lovely, lovely. Let's save it. Let's 
safe as we're gonna get. We're probably gonna need a tablet. Okay. And we're in. Volcanic rock, which has formed in this area, can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years ago. I think we're supposed to have some type of suit, man. What is this? A creature egg? What is this? A piece of kyanite? Oh, we needed kyanite. Drop these freaking eggs. Oh, and we're inside. Thermal activity discovered. Discover the thermal plant. Trophy egg. Oh crap! There's a monster in here. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. There's the entrance. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Oh my God. You're gonna definitely gonna have to drop these eggs. Hope we can freaking get back. Reach the thermal plant. Wow, look, we should have got the prawn suit. But we don't need all that ion cubes. We're at the end of the game. We didn't even need, oh, insert ion cube. Do I have one? Yeah, awesome. Now this teleports us to the, that one building. Remember we found the building, I don't know, it was like a sanctuary or something. It wasn't a special building. And we found a teleporter in that we couldn't use. Purple tablet. God, this place is big. That's the right exit. I don't know. We're going to have to go down or something. I'm going to get lost and, and set on fire. This is the way we come from, wasn't it? Away. Yeah, that was the door we came from. I was down here. A data and an ion cube. Fossil data. Recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility, it has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far on 4546B extinction event. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentration of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event, killing off a majority of species and forcing rapid adapta adaption, adaptation among many of the survivors. What other nonsense did we get? Screenshots? Announcements. And we need another purple tablet. We're, I, don't, I don't think we have an extra purple tablet. And that's the core right there. And there's an orange tablet in there. So we'll go back to this door up here. We're gonna have to go construct another orange tab, I mean a purple tablet. And I don't know if we have the ingredients, but we could teleport to someone else if we need to go get it. And we could get the prawn suit and drill that up if we need, to, need be. Where's the damn door? I think we have another purple tab tablet. What is this? A blue dab tattered 
tablet. We should start an electronic store with all these damn tablets. That's not what I needed. Smooth and cold with a blue light which illuminates an alien symbol resembling, resembling an uppercase H. While it is likely these devices served in part as security clearance for whoever constructed them, their size suggests some additional purpose, such as personal computers. Whatever the case, the technology is far beyond humanity's own. Taking that, and I'm leaving. Peace! Now we got to go. Oh crap! Oh. Sounded friendly, but well, if somebody could scare the crap out of you like that, how could they be friendly? So at the very least, we need another purple tablet. I know what the blueprint is. It's a bl blue tablet. So we've got to go back to our ship, and we lost the entrance to our ship. says it's on that side, but I, we came out on this side, didn't we? Right here. Oh, thank God. And all this just for a tablet. We gotta come right back. Here's it. Oh my god, our sub is floating away. He's just sitting here attacking it. God knows what could have happened. He could have destroyed it. We could have came back to no freaking sub. What the hell is wrong with this dude? I had the engine off and the lights off. Turn the lights on. This is pretty looking the uh, colorful dim lights and the glowing plants. I like that stuff in real life too. <clears throat> well, of course, not the glowing plants. The green light is just from them alien posts on the side of the door. That was our last purple tablet, are you serious? <clears throat> we gotta go back to the top, I'm gonna be a little upset. We can make that thing that required kyanite. purple tablet. Maybe it's downstairs. I doubt it. Purple tablet. And we wanted to make the prawn suit depth upgrade module. Damn. Let me check the camera. We should be able to use it there. There's a kyanite and titanium mound.
damn it. Can get in, get down, run into the building. But we're going to save that for the next episode. This has been your boy, Super Playing Subnautica. I hope you enjoyed it, and it would help me out a lot if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.